Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Trusted Gem Goddess Quita. Don't mind the water, I just got out of the shower. I'm Goddess Quita, you can call me the one with do. I answer to both. Please like, share, subscribe, donate, all that good jazz. If you would like a book of reading with me, everything is in the description box below. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Everything, a little hectic right now. But everything is on the up and up. It's, it's Things are getting crazy out here. It's a lot of, a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. And we're just going to tap in, Holy Spirit. Please give us. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Some messages, please, please, please give us the messages that we need to know and what's going on, how to move forward. Anything that you can share with us, we are not welcome to uh, receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Let's see. I should have brought my towel, but I didn't. It's a lot of spying and watching going on. Like I said before, they, the same old thing. Um, I keep seeing the same old thing in my spirit where uh, I think another reader picked up on it too. Um, I thought I was the only one. I don't know why I get in the way. I guess because I don't have too many people around me. But um, it's this particular witch um, or warlock, whatever you want to call it, male witch. But they're going around sucking up people's auras, sucking up. They're not um, energy harvesting no more. They're sucking your aura up. All I can see is the lips doing like that. And then I see yellow eyes in the um, spiritual room. Yeah. They're spying to see if you know something, some kind of truth. About a stalemate. Someone is spying to see if you know the truth about a stalemate. They want to see are you guarded or are you vulnerable. They want to see how much you know. Are you guarded or are you vulnerable. That's what they want to see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Um, I feel like it got this person in the five of cups energy. Just, or the five of pentacles in the five of cups energy. Just because um, I think they, they, they don't like what they see. The transformation with the new car is something new is on the horizon, very much so. Okay, someone that's in the five of cups and five of pentacles energy are um doing like control tactics, like um. They want to control you. They want to make you cry. Uh, I've been feeling a lot of regret and uh, a lot of, like, I want to cry, but I'm happy. I'm like, what is going on? It's a lot of regret, a lot of crying. Uh, I feel like somebody is in deep regret. Somebody is in deep sorrow, deep crying. Um, this person could be a narcissist or very controlling because <sighs> this person misses you, whoever this is. Um... They do. They miss you, whoever you are. And not only do they miss you, they're trying to control the, 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 the urges that they feel to like maybe to reach out, to contact you. They are really miss. I mean, then you got somebody else over here that's spying on this whole connection, watching everything. Yeah. Somebody has a renewal with their third eye with their um because i feel like a lot of times people come in my or i'm sorry you guys i just got a shower my hair is not fully dry and as you can see it's leaking try not to mind it i had to get him to do this reading because the holy spirit led me to do it somebody see that you're reactivated to your higher self somebody um is spying on you and the person that either is connecting to you or you connected to this person because I feel a distance between you two. Um because it's avoidance and stalemate card is here. I feel a great distance between you two. Maybe you guys are not talking or you're you broken up or or just um things and life is just going on and you don't have time to deal with this or very busy. I've been very busy as well. So it could be a lot of that energy going on, but somebody is definitely spying on you and spying on your love life. Um, and they see that you're at back activated with your higher self. Um, they're trying to avoid some kind of change, some kind of transfer. Yeah, they want you in your self node so that you can connect back to what. Yeah, they're trying to control your connection 
with this person, okay, the, 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 if it's not a lover, then it's someone outside your ex or somebody that you're connected to on a, a romantic level. This could be somebody that was connected to them, however it resonates. But it's somebody on the outside that's spying on you, and an ex could be spying on you, or somebody that got their eye on you, or a secret of my somebody is very much spying on you. But the person that's spying on you, um, they're very much narcissistic, they're very much um, jealous, they're very much they're trying to control your answers, they're trying to push all your alchemy, all your answers, all your prayers, all your hopes, all your wishes is down and put lack and suffering on top of everything that you got going on. It's like they want you to be in the five of cups, the five of pentacles energy. It's like they're trying to push your will down and, and, and put you in the five of cups and get you out of an abundant mindset is what I'm seeing. Um, they see that you're guarded when it comes to love and, um, they're trying to basically put you back in your soft note. It's just another tactic. I don't picked up this this um before a couple of months ago, maybe even not even a whole month ago, uh, maybe three weeks ago, uh, where they wanted to put people in their soft note, especially me. Um, I have a high level soul contract. I got many things I'm here to do, and they definitely don't like when I'm in my north node energy. And somebody is like trying to desperately push you back into your south node, back into your comfort zone. I know I have been in my comfort zone lately, um, and it was just because of the change I noticed. And spirit was like, "You gotta do." Things that you don't want to do. Go ahead and do things that you don't want to do. They're quick in me. Hold the spirit. Say, do things that you don't want to do. So I went back to, because I'll start back getting back into my old eating house. I'm like, I just changed. Like, what is going on? But it's it's people that are like literally in your aura trying to push their will up on you. And it could be an ex or it could be someone um, that is look like just spying in on your life. It could be anyone that knows what's going on and they don't like the way that your life is going they don't like that you're in your north know it so what they do is do spell work to try to put you in lack and try to control what how you pray how you connect with the universe uh try to put you in your south uh your south know they don't want love in your life they don't want change they want you to avoid planting seeds they want you to avoid change and courage they want you to basically Give up on God, basically, because God said He give us a spirit of bravery, and not He does not give us a spirit of fear, um, and a, of abundance. So anything that's out of alignment with that, you know, is either warfare or the devil, or you know, just people who who have negative mindsets around you. And what I'm picking up is a high level spiritualist, someone that connects in the spiritual. This person is purposely doing it. It's not like it is. Um, how can I say it? It's not like that. Um, like is just somebody like dang I wish I could I, I like her like in their mind or in their head this is like intent, very intentional how I know it's intentional because it's on top the lack and poverty mindset is on top of the control card so this is very much intentionally trying to push your will down intentionally trying to get you to nurture you to go back into your top note trying to intentionally give for you to give up on your dreams your wishes your hopes and I say the spirit the Holy Spirit told me to sell someone and they told me too because I was the father victim to it too they told me that I need to do the things that I don't want to do like I don't want to it's a lot of things I don't do I want to go back to my old eating habits because it's comfortable but it doesn't suffice me I feel horrible when I go back to my old eating habits because the uh, spirit is trying to upgrade our DNA if you don't know that the Holy Spirit said they're trying to upgrade our DNA and the karmics are trying to that's their job to try to push us down our job is to ascend by any means necessary so what is being built up is character strength is uh, perseverance is that uh, Jew, that light, the uh, tribal uh, the tribe of Judah energy, um, the tribe of Judah energy. That is what God is trying to build up in you, and that can go strength can goes in so many different ways. Sometimes you have to have strength to just detach and let people be people. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to have strength to persevere and let people still be people, but you just put yourself out of harm's way. Uh, a lot of times you have to persevere against. Okay, I want to have like I want to eat some. I have bought me some, uh, I'm going to shake the devil, I bought me some tartar vinegar chips, and I was going to fry me some chicken, but all that spirit is like, baby, what did we just tell you? 
here yesterday. And I'm like, you right, you right, you right. <laughs> so I went ahead and I'm going to make me a salad. I got me some lettuce and cucumbers. And um, I love lettuce and cucumbers, by the way. And But I'm not craving it. I'm craving other stuff. So I have to fight against the ur urges and temptations to go back to my soft note, what I'm used to. And I have to continue to eat positively. Because in, I feel like in this season, that's the only way we're going to be able to really... Um, get into our calling because the comments are karmic and they're working hard and they're supposed to it's 10 10 on the clock they're supposed to they're doing their job is us to do our job and to upgrade into the sin i mean us sin and not descend i'm sorry <laughs> no we don't want to descend and we want to upset we want to ascend you feel me but uh <laughs> they're karmic and they're doing their their due diligence now it's time for us to do our due diligence we know what's going on it's warfare at its finest like they say it's a silent war not only in america um but within the spiritual Realm within ourselves, within our bodies, within the, the, the consciousness of Christ, because Antichrist people are Antichristing. You don't expect for Antichrist people not to Antichrist if they're not healed and they willingly serve the devil. You can't expect for them to say, "Oh, I'm just gonna leave that alone." No, you're shining. No, you're right. No, you're you're not a false like being. You are a true essence of the Holy Spirit of God. So no, they're not just gonna leave you alone. A lot of times I was like, "I just wish they'd leave me alone." That's not gonna happen. They're also over, like, people leave me alone. I'm just accepting that karmic is going to karmic. If they can do it in the spiritual realm, get, spiritual realm get away, in the physical realm, they get away with a lot of stuff, too, because a lot of, let's be honest, a lot of people that we're coming up against, especially my collective, the people that I um, come in contact with, they are, we are... Um, I'm talking about people that's in high places people who have money people who have more resources than us when it comes to physical resources people who um, are not living in poverty people who are not middle class people who don't work a 9 to 5 job people who don't do these things and people who you know just YouTube is a, it's a lot of people and then they, they build up their collective their covens or whatever you want to call these groups of people like or Beyonce got the beehive uh, Nikki got the boss and what um, uh, uh, Megan got the hotties and it's just like it's just like those it's the same thing it's the same thing it's just that you know they're in the music industry and some some of them too some people in the, in the that that's the that reason they, they be doing some uh, some stuff too in the spiritual room so you have to do you have to know and, and and do your due diligence it's not just because oh they shouldn't be doing this they're going to do it regardless so it's up to us are we really saving for God because we have to be long suffering and the reason we have to be long suffering is not because of the most high God make our life complicated it's the karmics and so it's it's um people's mountains it's people mindsets um, God said he'll let you overcome mountains he's talking about mindsets people who are projected people who are intentionally coming against you that's what we're fighting against okay so that being said you guys let's get another the spirit told me to take this card they're trying to like make your okay they're trying to make your third eye like be in some kind of debt. They're trying to attach your third to eye to karmatic debt, to limitations. You know, but spirit said, trust the divine. Everything is working out perfectly. You're being beautiful. And this apology that somebody's, these people are going to be sorry for what they did. They're going to have to apologize, maybe not with their mouth, but within their spirit and within the Holy Spirit. The ancestors are going to whoop their ass. Uh, the angels, my angel, Archangel Michael is a worm, and he's going to whoop their ass. Mm hmm. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or maybe um, something with your throat. They try to close your throat chakra. They do that to me all the time. But um, a lot of air energy here, a lot of throat activity, a lot of uh, mind activity is going on. You see how her mind is shattered and her throat is like she can barely speak. Like she's trying to gas, almost gas for air, but not. It's, it's like this um, hitting uh, attack where you can't talk. But you don't know why, and you don't know why you feel the way you do, or they can do things because of the energy. But spirit said you're free. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could have did that to you. Try to, you know, um, they're gonna be sorry for what they did to the, try to put you in that energy of not being able to see your third, on your third eye, not being able to, you know, correctly assess situations and do the things that you normally do, especially spiritually. But spirit said you have broken free. They could have been doing this to Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or all three. Um, but spirit said have the action to. Continue Continue to go towards your divine counterpart. Even if they're cold and detached, you still connect with this person. I can't lie. You still need to connect with this person. Um, um, the reason why you need to connect this person and, and go on because this person may be going through warfare that you can help them come out of. 
Because a lot of people, when you're up in the, especially the music industry, celebrity, up in those high places, you're surrounded by a lot of, which is well -ups. A lot of people who don't have the best intention. Everybody is, you know, comicking, and, and it's a lot of, oh, I'm, I'm the next, I'm the queen, I'm the king, and I'm this, and I'm that. I'm just little old queen. Though. I'm just a little old queen of just trying to tell everybody about Jesus, about being sovereign and free, and, and about living a fresh, clean life on your forages, your, I mean your gardens and your your fruits, your vegetables, and and just being mindful of how we treat others. I, I don't we'll all have to be like, oh, I'm, I'm a queen, I'm a king. Or, I, it, it. <laughs> you gonna die just like the rest of us. Everybody gonna die. And when you leave here, it's how you treat people that's going to matter the most. It's how you treated yourself that's going to matter the most. It's how you connect it with the universe, with others, that's going to matter the most. You can't take your money with you. You can't take your uh, cars and jewelry and all them things with you. The only thing you could take with you is love. Because you're just pure consciousness at that point after you leave this world. You're just going to be pure consciousness. Okay, so that being said, you guys, I hope this message this message resonates with you guys. I hope um, you feel the Holy Spirit and you can sense that God gave me this message because I don't like to talk out my booty just to be talking out my booty because that's not what I do here. I make sure I'm connected to the Holy Spirit. I make sure that's why I take days and things off because I do go through warfare, heavy, heavy warfare. A lot of uh, other readers might not, but I'm very highly targeted and it's not because I like it. I want to be like that too. I want to be like, oh, I can get over here and do it. But I, I, I have the, the calling that I have in my life and I'm not regretting it I'm just going to stand up in my purpose and I'm just going to continue to give you guys the truth and tell you guys the truth and the Holy Spirit want us to know that the comics are comicking and that it's up to us to ascend at this point because we know what's going on they're not going to stop comicking we just got to get stronger and understand the warfare that's going on so that we can move forward in our ascension process, what, process whatever that means to you it could be totally different my Ascension process could be totally different from yours, but we can always come back and connect with the consciousness of Christ and be on one accord, even though our missions are totally different.